So hi and welcome back and I've come out on a nice sunny Sunday morning and I've done all the photography and I've done all the uh, developing so I've just come out for a walk rather than sit at home and talk about what I was doing. So I was using the Orvo 54UN in the Pyro developer and I actually don't like it as much as when I did it. I think I, I need to check but it was either in Rodinol or it was in ID11 so I need to actually check that out because I probably would have said it when I did uh, the video on it which you can see up here um, so what I did, I did a few studio shots and I just wanted to do like a comparison between me doing a studio shot with a bog standard 50mm Olympus lens against my uh, macro lens and yeah there's a huge difference <laughs> one was colour and one was black and white so I'll show you those, those shots now um, so I've been thinking a lot about what I'm doing and the type of photography I'm doing and, and all the different sorts of th things that, that you know you, you think about and uh, I know a lot of the photographers like me have collected cameras over the years and now just coming down to use one camera and one type of film. I don't think I'm quite there yet. First of all my, my camera collection is worth about £2.50 <laughs> and uh, secondly I love and I always, I've always loved experimenting with different types of black and white film so I think what I'll do is I'll continue for the time being with different types of film. I've got a 50 ISO black and white film coming up that I've got to find out the development times for so that's coming up as well. I've got some of the um, Shanghai 3 G, GP3 film as well to do so anyway what I've been out today doing is today I've been out, I've got some colour um, Agfa film which is actually Fuji C200. It's been expired for about four or five years. So, uh, I think it's 2017, so it's a bit longer than that. So I've actually put it down to 125 ISO and I've, I'll show you a, a video shot of where I've just taken some photographs and uh, then we'll get back and we'll have a look at the photographs at home. Okay, so let's start taking a look at these um, photographs. Now I'm going to skip out these first three here and because uh, I'm going to show you them and the difference between those and the colour in, in a minute. But um, I mainly took these shots with my 135 lens. I only went out, I think, with a 50mm once and that was first the first thing I did. Now, here's the thing. I don't necessarily scan in the order I take the shots. So frame one is actually this one here and um, the next lot of shots would have been the studio ones and then these would have been the last ones here so I don't I don't actually scan them in order of, of 1 to 24 1 to 36 but this was a 36 exposure film so I just want to show you a few of these and also I don't always scan all of them as well so some of them I skip past if I, if I can see they're not really worth talking about or they're really that bad now honestly I do show you my bad photographs as well so um, I just want to look at these trees. So I just want to take a look at these trees. I took these with my 135 lens. I wanted that drop focus and you can see I would, this is the area I was focused on and it's it's not brilliantly sharp but you know what do you expect for a, a, an old Olympus lens of, it, of that elk and it's 3.5 as well. Sometimes I think when I'm doing these shots am I actually wasting film? You know, I, I just, I honestly, I honestly don't know. I, I take the shot and I'm thinking, you know, was that really worth the frame? Because obviously film is so expensive now. I just wanted to, you know, do I justify it? But I'll just show you the other two that I did. And um, that's, this one's quite nice and sharp. It's quite clean. And um, yeah, the grain's not too bad on it at all. I'm having to close down these shots because every time I click to go next, it takes me back to the first shot. So I'm having to close this down. And then I took one of the same thing, and this is the uh, bridge crossing the footbridge crossing the river, which you've probably seen in other videos. And this is a uh, group of four people in a boat, I think, a race, you know, doing like racing. And um, yeah, it's actually really quite nice. I'm quite pleased with this shot, but it's not a shot I'm going to be taking again. But yesterday I went out with the camera, and I went out with my 135 lens, and I took some photographs. This is what they call Castle Mound, and this is the the, the footway up to it. And I just like the crisscross of the shadows and the actual fencing itself. So that's quite nice. The only thing is I should have taken it from a different angle and trying to get rid of this lamppost because it just really, really spoils the shot. And then I got a bit closer and you've got this. And it's got a really nice depth to it. And the, 
the contrast is really really nice you've got nice dark blacks in the shadows and you've got some really bright well, the, the whites are blown out it was a really 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 bright day yesterday like today that's why i was out with the color this morning again why should i take this shot i mean i i, I look at it and oh that'll be all right that would look all nice and it's just really 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 not not that good at all in and around the castle mound they've got the daffodils growing now and i and i just wanted to try and take a few shots now i know for a fact the exposure is right and i think it's the way the pyro develops because these yellows are really really blown out and they would not i could not pull them back it was even when i was trying to do it um in affinity photo and this is the best i could get it without it looking really really odd so this is why i said about i'm not 100 percent sure about 54 un for me anyway in pyro i think i've got it better in the other developers but the shot of the day the, sh the one i love the most i actually love this shot and um i was actually focusing on the tree pretty much and you can see just around the edges of it the uh the daffodils are quite clean and then you get this this real drop off of um you know d depth of field and it i don't know i'm really really pleased this shot of the day i know it's probably the wrong thing to say but i would like to take out that uh, speed camera sign and <laughs> make the photograph a lot better but that's not the world we're in as film photographers and when i took these this is uh three shots i took here of this it's coming home on the railway bridge took them um last week and it was cold it was damp and it was starting to rain when i took them but again they're quite pleasing and i'll just take a show you the other two i took i took one from under the bridge uh, which is quite nice and then my favorite one of the three is when i was at the other side of the bridge and you've got that there so i actually prefer that one it's quite busy but I really, really like it. And now on to the studio shots. So I've, I've got three of them I actually scanned rather than uh, doing all of them. So there are quite a few and I just wanted you to see them. And that one's actually really quite nice. I, I, I um, basically the, the, the black background is actually, is actually laying on top of this loop here at the top there. And I just thought it looked quite nice. And it hasn't come up too bad at all. I mean, remember, this is a 50mm lens. It's minimal focal distance, about f f8, I think it was. About an eighth of a second. So I can't grumble. And let's go to the next one. And again, this one with paper clips and dice. Yeah, it looks all right. It's quite fun. But it's not a brilliant photograph. And lastly at all, um, I have the, the sweets in a jar. And I'm, look, I've got, some, I've got an alien in the middle of my jar. Anyway, so, I, so I'll show you some color ones I did with my proper macro lens on my digital SLR. And you can just see the <laughs> huge difference between the two of them. So I just thought I'd show you these few. And um, yeah, I, I'm not so sure about the red line at the bottom, but it's still, it's, you know i'm not a studio photographer i'm a i'm a portrait i'm a portrait photographer that does most of my work outside and i actually quite like this one and because you can only get a really tiny depth of field i knew this was going to happen when i could see it on the screen i actually quite like the the, the just the tiny bits i've got in focus and here's the last one and it's just of some uh, some chewy sweets and put them in the same jar that the paper clips are in and they look quite nice anyway guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'm actually looking at the idea of, of the photographs i really really love is actually selling them so if you if, you know if someone would like to buy one of the photographs let me know and i can see what i can do i've got to set my website back up again and um i can do some selling on there um if you if you're interested in it. anyway thanks see you in the next video